Now let's try and do some um, friction calculations. This one's a static friction calculation. Um, we have a sofa whose mass is 105 kilograms and we need to move this sofa. It says it takes a force of 102 newtons to get it moving. So this is our, um, our static friction force. Okay, and then it says, what is the coefficient of static friction, that's that U.S., between the sofa and the carpet? So let's write down what we know. We know that our mass is 105 kilograms. We know our F static is 102 newtons. And we need to know our coefficient of static friction. Now, um, if you look at the formula, the formula for this is um, F static is less than the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. Okay, now. The normal force, if you remember from your free body diagrams, the normal force is always equal to the gravitational force. Okay, and your gravitational force, again, it's just your mass times your gravity. So we're going to um we're going to use this sofa's mass to calculate the gravitational force. And um remember our little g is 9.8 meters per second squared and so 105 times 9.8 is 1029 newtons and that's going to be your normal force that you're going to put in this equation now um, this equation can go in the triangle okay um, the static and the normal are together so that means they're going to go on the bottom right here and the force of static, I'm just going to call it stat, can go on the top. Now the thing that we want is um, is this right here, okay? Our um, coefficient of static friction. So um, when we put this in the formula, we're going to get our coefficient of static is equal to our static force over our normal force. Now, um, our static force is 102 newtons, and our gravity force, or a normal force, is 1029. Okay, now, um, a couple things I want you to see. These newtons will cross out, which means um, that the coefficient of static friction has no units, so you do not have to remember to put units. It doesn't have any units. And also, um, another thing with the coefficient of static friction is it's always going to be a number less than one. It's always going to be a small number. So when you're doing your lab, if you get a coefficient of static friction that's more than one, you did something wrong. So, um, so the coefficient of static friction is always less than one. So um, when I put this in the calculator, I got 0, 0.0. 9, 9. And again, you don't have to have any units. I feel like this number is naked without units, but that's how it's supposed to be. And you can just leave it like that. And that's your answer. So this was calculating static friction problems. Now let's do some calculations with kinetic friction. We have a girl and she's um, exerting a 36 Newton horizontal force. That is our kinetic force. I don't know if you can see the top of this F, so I'll just do it like that. Um, and she's pulling a 52 Newton sled. And so that's the weight of the sled or the force due to gravity. And she's pulling it across a cement sidewalk at a constant speed. Then it says, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction, that's this UK, between the sidewalk and the metal sled runner? So let's write what we know. We know our kinetic friction force. This is basically our applied force. 
and it's 36 newtons. We know our force due to gravity. Now your force due to gravity, remember, is equal to your normal force. And that's 52 newtons. And then we want the coefficient of kinetic friction. And this coefficient does not have units just like the other one, so it's really nice. Now our formula is our kinetic friction is equal to our coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And we want this coefficient of kinetic friction. You can go ahead, you can put it in the triangle. Okay, your coefficient of kinetic friction is next to the normal force, so they go on the bottom together. And then your coefficient of kinetic, or your kinetic friction goes on the top, and I'm just going to write F kin. Okay, and the thing that we don't want, the thing that we're trying to look for is this um, coefficient of kinetic friction. So we can do our coefficient of kinetic is equal to our kinetic friction over our normal force. And we can plop in our numbers. Now again, you can see our small number is on the top, so we're going to get a decimal. And that's okay because remember the coefficient of um, frictions, they're always decimals anyway. If you get a number that's bigger than one, then you did something wrong. Um, our, our newtons will go ahead and cross out. And um, that again is okay. And that means we're going to get this number with no units. And you do not have to put units. I will not assume elephants if you do not put units. And you can just leave it at 0 0.69, which I feel like this number looks a little naked, but that's the way it's supposed to be, so we'll leave it that way.